Hello guys. Uh, today I wanted to go into uh, a different section of the map and uh, there I uh, found uh, two towers or two castles close together and I built me a little safe uh, place in the middle. I might actually build that up to be uh, something uh, a lot bigger but first well I have uh, uh, enchanted the battle mage gear and it's pretty good with uh, two times protection 4 and two times protection 4 and magic resistance 4 and all of them have unbreaking 3 which is not really relevant because they uh, repair by just having them on and having mana so I'll use those but that also means that I want to have my cloud boots on and that is a shame because then I can't jump really fast or far and I can't walk really fast but I really want to try out this gear even though it doesn't uh, inf uh, get experience yet so I'll uh, put away my uh, normal gear so it can re be repaired oh yeah my earth armor okay I'll put away my stuff and I'll see you uh, you can see me back when I'm uh, well via the gateway into my next section so I'll be uh, right back Alrighty, I've put my stuff away, so uh, this is a purple portal and it takes me to my, well, safety measures around here. And, well, if the world would load, you'd see there's a wall there as well. <laughs> so I uh, started uh, this uh, with the idea to build uh, somewhat uh, of a castle and then actually make it that it's in proportion. So. Well, a normal person is uh, about, uh, well, maximum two meters, like the actual uh, height of the two blocks. So four blocks would be four meters high, and that is actually quite high for a normal ceiling. Even though in Minecraft, usually stuff is uh, actually very high. And I decided on, uh, well, a sort of castle thingy, because, um, well, of my surroundings. Because there's a castle there. And if we put load in, you'd see there's a castle there as well. And I of course uh, checked out what kind of mobs are in there. And those are Hecates. And those are really, really annoying and dangerous. And I'm uh, most likely going to die several times. So, well. Oh, I wanted to soulbound this. Well, I guess I won't take it right now. And I brought a couple of uh, lava buckets as well any good uh, castle has of course a moat and well, I don't know if these uh, fences will uh, uh, turn on fire, get on fire but uh, I just wanted a lava moat so I'll fill this up and be back then alrighty so we're probably gonna die in terrible death and I haven't set my spawn because well, I can get back here pretty fast but we of course would prefer not to die but I don't think that will be a uh, possible because these Hecates, well they can go invisible and then just stomp on you and if there are two or three or something well, you might be dead before you know which way they came from no not the mana creeper Now it steals your mana and then does damage based on how much mana it stole. This is hard and clay. Did anything blow up? I don't know. I sure hope there is something special in here. No, well, spider isn't all that special. And these doors are way too wide. I mean, if spiders can get through it, then it's a bad door. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll kill him. And those lights are of course useful but uh, not sufficient to make it light enough everywhere so that nothing spawns. Which is strange of course. Yeah I thought I saw something. And they're difficult to hit and they well turn invisible so you only see particles and if I would have true sight that lasted a long time which you can get if you have 
I don't know, duration or something, and then make it long. That would be good, but well, to change into true sight just when you hear it, that would be too late. Oh yeah, there will be another one there, so let's be prepared. Yeah, and I see where you start, do you? Not so difficult. Oh, I doesn't want to do it with my spell selected. Ah, another one. And they just stay as a cage before you c uh, come close enough. And then they turn invisible and they come attack you and sometimes well, they're <laughs> with several. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna get cornered in this uh, well, castle tower, what do you call it? Well you can do it, but well, it was buggy apparently. And I won't be looting anything yet because well, I'm gonna die anyway. So then I will loot once, I don't know, something, uh, an area is cleared or something. I think I hear some. Could be upstairs. Wait, let's do a little bit higher sound. Yeah, I definitely hear something. <laughs> and those are Hecate's, but I'm not sure where it comes from because here upstairs they will probably be aggroed. And following me. Okay, seems like the first level is done, and this also seems like the lowest level. Oh, and we I get a map from them. Nice. Oh, I don't think the lower level is done. You can get there somehow. Oh, and there I see more Hecate's. Too bad for you guys. They can't fly out the window, apparently. I didn't know that. Oh, and it is not safe here at all. <laughs> Wow, cow, you scared me. <laughs> You're not supposed to be in here. How did you get in here? That means it's open somewhere. And nasty mana creepers can come to me. I guess I could be uh, starting to use full casts. Which uh, is if you press C, then it does more damage and it costs more mana. And, well, maybe not yet. Oh, something spawned there. I definitely saw it. Yeah, and a bit overkill on the magic on them, but I really don't want to get hit by them. Even their... Uh, actual explanation in the compendium says that they're hard hitting but with uh, low health so like a glass cannon uh, sort of thing and well of course they're not really cannons but you can pretty much still just beat them also in a one on one with uh, no uh, advantage from distance or anything but well two in your back while you're running away from a creeper would be very bad Yeah, and they're probably coming from the cave downstairs. And they're difficult to hit with magic. Oh, now there are three of them. Four of them. Five of them. Six, seven, what the hell? Wait, I didn't die yet?
If they turn invisible again. Is this like the welcoming party? Man, this is dangerous. <laughs> Oh, and there you can walk to the other building if you do it uh, properly. Yeah, my power 4 bow is also pretty powerful. Well, so far so good. But as you can see, this will definitely be somewhere where I die. And, well, let's just hope we get a profit from the entire building, because losing the uh, battle mage gear, that would be uh, pretty uh, expensive. You need subsidian, and, well, that takes time. And time is pretty much the currency in uh, Minecraft. Yeah, I hear you. I don't really see you. Well, if these guys would have uh, the, well, I don't know, the mod, there is a mod that gives creatures uh, random uh, power-ups and they can get, uh, I don't know, extra health and uh, just all stats increased and you can get double bonuses. So you can get uh, a guy that is then, well, very, very powerful and if they get invisible before they attack you, well, yeah. That's a fun. Infernal mobs, I think the mod is called. And I tried that to uh, have it work with Ars Magica, but that fails. Ah, uh, no, don't kill me! Not yet, anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, big courtyard. It's dark, and there's another guy. They don't want to leave the building now. Really? Are they confined to this? Because it's haunted and they can't exist outside? I don't know. They spawn in the normal world as well, so shouldn't be a problem for them. Ah, oh, normal spider. <laughs> no, I missed it. Yes, I hear another one. Oh no, it's a skeleton. stuff. <laughs> I don't see stuff. That's dangerous. Can't I block this off? Half steps maybe. I don't know if those Hecates can still just go through the one side hole. So on the side or anything, but at least normal, uh, well, I don't know, creepers and stuff can. Lots and lots of darkness. Oh, and one of those guys. Those aren't really dangerous. Well, as with all mobs. Nothing is really dangerous solo. Well, except maybe for some bosses I haven't done yet.
I did meet a giant spider once, but I could trap him in a corner so he did, couldn't do anything. Don't I have more uh, torches? Oh, that's not good. Okay, I guess I'll uh, go and loot and go back to my base and uh, get a load more torches because doing this without light is definitely suicide. And I guess I'll uh, take a bed. Anything else I want here? Well, maybe uh, potions. So that will be fine. Oh, I saw you. Yeah, this is definitely need not something that you want to just rush through. Okay, let's see if we can find some chests. Because there were some. Maybe only in the other part. Well, I want to go back there anyway. So, oh, that's nice look. And this is the first actual ground floor. Hmm, promising. Ah, some runes. Let's make sure, at least sure certain that it is uh, an Ars Magica special dungeon and not just some random generated stuff. Well, I'll take the magical ones if they're three or higher. I guess protection two. Probably get another one because protection three is pretty good, I guess. And well, this is the entrance. Where do you use the chests? Just two. Ah, the food one. Um, good for food at the moment. Well, some gold. Oh, gold's of course nice because I need torches. Don't I just see some wood around here? Nope, nope, nope. Yes, the so diamonds in uh, furnaces. I think it's just then a, a random thing that they put in the furnace. But um, no, I don't want any of the, that kind of food. I eat the beef. Yeah, go back to my base then and get more torches. So I'll be back shortly. Hello, hello, I'm back from uh, sleeping the night away at my uh, temporary uh, castle to be. And I'm now on the second floor of this uh, castle. And it apparently just goes outside on the hill or something. Oh, and it's almost dark again. <laughs> goes fast if you're having a terrifying time uh, with all sorts of invisible modes. Oh, I guess I looted that already. Yeah, I it recorded some, but then it turned out that my hard disk was full for the first time in years. So, uh, well, it's about uh, 50 torches ago. <laughs> But it didn't anything uh, really spectacular or exciting happen, and I didn't actually loot anything good anyway, so. Didn't miss much, and I probably won't be including everything anyway. Because that will be, I don't know, a couple of hours worth of footage, probably. But so far, so good. I guess this uh, second level is almost done. Well, this side of it anyway, because uh, you can probably still go to the other side. Probably uh, using that, uh, yeah, this thing. A bridge of some sort. Walkway, is it, I think. I'm not really sure which part I did first. <laughs> probably here. Yeah, and excessive torching, because... I don't want any mobs to spawn in, like that Enderman. You know you're gonna look at him at some point. I don't want to go up yet. Uh, okay, I'll quickly check if this uh, area is cleared. Oh, and some nice loot. An Affinity Dome Ender. And 
I really haven't decided what I want to do for my affinity because well I was working on frost because then well you get more damage from your frost spell and uh, I guess it costs less mana but then I read some random book I found and that was an air affinity and that well completely reset the frost of course so um, now I'm pretty much just collecting those uh, affinities books and I will choose which one I will actually use later on but I guess it's time to go upstairs again even though not everything is lit oh I haven't actually done those lights but. well fine okay uh, I'll uh, go upstairs I'll be back later oh wow this is new a double chest which only had two things but this is Nothing, but I have never seen a mega golem before. So yeah, definitely want to check that out. Didn't get an achievement for it. That's strange. But well, inventory full again. And you can get pretty nice gear. With double protections which you can't get uh, normally. Oh, and this is a nice diving helmet. Even though I don't need it, but... Well, okay, I'll go back to my base again, and torches are gone again, again. So this is, uh, I don't know, four stacks of torches right now. Goes pretty fast, so I guess I'll make a couple of more. And uh, well, I'll be back once I go upstairs again. Maybe uh, show some uh, surroundings because, well, not on this side. Well, you can see some sort of inner walkway. If I can find it. Yeah, here. Oh. Oh, normal skeleton. Yeah, sometimes there is too much lag to actually... Well, I don't know, dodge, shoot, dodge, shoot, stuff like that. But yeah, here. This is interesting. This is just an um, entire walkway, so let's... Uh, Check it out. Oh. Well, I guess you can get to this side. And oh, this is just some tower, and that would probably be much easier. At least less open than that thing. And that's also a tower, so yeah, when I come back, I probably want to do this one. So, um, okay, be back later. Alrighty, I dropped off my stuff, and this is only three high, and this is uh, much more. And probably the chieftain or whatever is in there, so let's check out this one first. Nothing yet. Oh, I hear them. And there are probably quite a lot of them because I get some leggy. No particles to my immediate view. So the top is already here or maybe even one higher. Well, let's see. <laughs> yeah, at least one higher, and that's the top. Oh, I see one. It's not all that clear, but well, if you've got plenty of mana, then using the not so high d uh, cost well spell that also doesn't do all that much damage, you can just lay on an entire crossfire and well you'll probably hit something even though you can't really use uh, um, fast shooting uh, magic to kill stuff really fast because the game needs some time to calculate or what process whatever uh, what it's done and then the second one needs its own time so probably already showed that but 
if you just uh, shoot as fast as you can the first one will probably hit and then the second and third maybe not and then the fourth again so it usually pays off to just kill them by a uh, sort of grindy shoot wait shoot wait which is fine or otherwise this uh, magic would be completely overpowered because Oh, got some XP, nice. Because if you can just continuously uh, fire at them and uh, they all hit, then nothing can actually come close. And definitely not if you add a little bit of knockback to your spells, which you can. Which I haven't because I don't like knockback. But that would then maybe be an actual, um, almost uh, invulnerable uh, setup. Because then you do an AoE spell which does knockback and then everything around you or well, in some group that you target. Well, we'll just uh, be away again and get damage and not be able to hit you. So only uh, stuff that actually shoots dangerous stuff at you, which exists like, uh, I don't know, necromancers and stuff. They use drain life and uh, well other nasty stuff. Water elementals can also cause watery grave and shoot bubbles or something. Um, oh, I've already been down, so yeah, let's go up this second tower. And that was the first stack. <laughs> go so fast with torches. It's well. maybe uh, I'm just being a little paranoid. Because how much damage could a single spot of darkness where zombies may spawn do well if you get blown up by <laughs> yeah I hear the guy but he's probably upstairs like his buddy from the previous tower okay we're getting there I don't see him yet. I don't see the sparkle either. Oh, now I see you. Yeah, if you actually see them and hit them, and I guess if you would have a power five or a sharpness five sword, it might be a one hit. Definitely, if you use strength potion or something. Which I guess I could, because it's an 8 minute buff that does, I don't know, 2 hearts extra damage or something. Yeah, that might actually kill them in one hit. Mm, something to consider, definitely, if I uh, find it becoming uh, tedious and difficult. Oh, yeah, see, they, they kind of gang up on you. Oh, and I didn't show it yet, but on the left side here you can see the status of my gear. Which, uh, because I haven't gotten a lot of damage and my mana is still full. Uh, it's still just uh, re repairing itself. Yeah, I saw another one. Or is that the one that teleported or something? Oh no, he's still there. <laughs> yeah, it probably needs to calculate where the bolt of frost is going, and that probably takes some time. No, 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 no! Well, I think I hit that one as well, so didn't take all that much fall damage. But yeah, creepers can be still annoying and dangerous. Do I have feather falling? I don't think so. No. So I guess I'll want to get a new spell book with almost only uh, tactical spells. Like feather fall and jump and uh, I don't know, true sight maybe. I didn't like the night vision but true sight can be useful and maybe even in a, st a castle like this because why else would it be? Where else would it be used, you know? Except for in multiplayer, of course, when other people build illusion blocks and 
Oh, I know a pirate uh, area where there might be invisible walls. So I'll uh, go there later and uh, check it if I can see those walls or just only move through them if I use the true sight. Because I think those were air blocks and air blocks can't be illusion walls but maybe they can be invisible walls. And I haven't seen those yet because, well, they're invisible. <laughs> but with true sight that should be uh, negated. So that would be an interesting thing to check out or to find out. Torches are almost gone again. Hello, creeper. Scan him. Haha, <laughs> you hit the Hecate. Did he kill the Hecate? I don't know. No, I didn't kill the Hecate. Well, 26 levels, I guess I'll go in and chant soon. Of course, I would need uh, 120 levels to come close to being, uh, uh, well, um, having a profit from uh, doing this. Even though I already got that mega golem. Oh, didn't see you there. And no Hecate on top. That's strange. And who will be the lookout? Come on! Well, if you don't use a lookout, it's no wonder I can just walk in here and loot all your stuff. Okay, second tower uh, completed, so I've now got this part down. And we only have the bigger part left. <laughs> Guess I could end the pearl there, but then I can't really escape. And apparently I've been three high, so it's one, two, three levels of this, and on those sides as well. And then, I guess this will be the final part. But, well, uh, that will be fine for now, and I will be back some other time.